Hey folks, here he goes again. <laughs> okay, I'm at a spot. There's supposed to be a remote lake down here. And I've been here once before, but it's been a long time. Another one of these where, gosh, it's been almost forever. Um, it's a nice little remote lake. Nobody can tell me if it has fish in it or not. No record of it having fish. We won't know until we try it. We're not going to try it today. I'm just here checking out lakes, making sure the ice is all off of them, and checking out the access. So let's head on down the trail and take a look at this lake. Hiking back here into this lake. I'm seeing this along the trail. A lot of storm damage here. It had a lot of trees come down from storms last year and you can see here somebody's been girdling the birch trees you can tell this was once a regularly used little road going in here and um, now there's a berm there and you can see that the ATVs have been running up and down this road. Yeah, I got to thinking about it. No, it hasn't been that terrible of a long time since I've been back here. Because I was back in here, oh, last fall, I believe. I want to come in here with my metal detector. There's a site up here. There used to be a regular established cottage up here, a cabin, and it, um, it it had been in service for many, many, many years. It, I guess the cabin was here back in the late 30s, and it's my understanding it burnt down. I don't know if you can see this little guy or not. Little chipmunk, way out here in the middle of the boondocks. He's wondering what in the world is this guy doing out here? This is way out in the woods, buddy. What are you doing out here? He's thinking. Yeah. <coughs> I wanted to come in here last fall um, just take my metal detector to this clearing up here do a little bit of treasure hunting if that cottage sat here for many many years before it burned then um, I'm very confident that this ground would have some treasures in it but you can see there's a meadow here and I get up here and you can get a better idea of where the cottage sat and this lake is called Cabin Lake um, because of the cabin that used to sit here years and years ago but yeah this is this is the meadow this is where the cabin used to sit and it sat right over there you can actually when you get over there you can see where the original foundation used to be um, which is pretty well gone now um, but a little metal detecting around that area would not be a bad idea. So I think I'll try that this summer. Yeah, now I remember last time I was down in here. Um, there was a lot of evidence of people girdling, girdling all the birch in here. There's a ton of birch in here and they girdled a bunch of it. Um, 
there's kind of a trail. See, it's nice because these part of this is old tree plantation, like in there. It's I love these areas. You, there's no underbrush at all, and in the summer you can wander through those plantation areas. And these weren't planted so much in a row; they're more um, staggered plantings, and it's it's fun to just hike around in there in the hot summer when the sun's out and it's hot. Well, there's the lake down there. Oh boy. Yeah, there, there are no ice anymore. And the peepers are out. I can hear the frogs all the way up here on top of the hill. Wow, there had to have been some super heavy winds. Do you see that? That pine right here? It's broke off at the base. That's the top of a white pine. There's where it was. That's a big white pine. It's, it's about 24 inches at the base. Not around, across. And the top got blown out of it. And for a pine to break off like that, that had to be some pretty, pretty heavy winds. Oh, it's beautiful back here today. The, um, Critters are all over the place. Lots of birds. And like I said, the peepers, the frogs are just chirping like mad. You gotta kind of watch, uh, watch when you're walking down through areas like this. You get these wet zones like this because um, this area is full of springs, and in, especially in the spring of the year, they pop up. See, there's all these nice, nice open areas. Um, it does get undergrowth in the summer, but not extreme. Plenty of places to pick a camp and string up a hammock, which, if I find out there's fish in this lake, I will be coming down here to camp. I'm thinking that I'll find something close close to the water's edge. But where I can actually see if I've got folks coming and going from my camp. But I heard that this lake also may have a fish population. Which would be bass and panfish. Basically bluegills. Um, that's all good for me. Yeah, this spot here, this spot right here, usually, this isn't as far up as it is. It's out another 10, 12 feet before you have water usually. So the water's high this spring. Yeah, this is, I, I love this little lake. It's beautiful in here. Taking off over there. Water clarity is really good. That duck is just buzzing me.
this is another one that it wouldn't be too difficult for me to drag a kayak in here. Come down that hill with that kayak. Put it in right here. It's got some good structure, some dead wood down in the water all along this edge. There's reeds over there. I'm thinking that's a good spot for a couple of bass out of there. I just don't really know the lake, so I would have to just check it out. I'm going to see if I can focus in. I got. Yeah, there's some ducks. Ducks over on the other side. Do you hear them croakers? I got a couple of red-winged blackbirds over there. They can start singing. I love hearing the red-winged blackbirds. Um, but as you can see, this is a, it's a deep basin lake. It's all hillside, all the way around. Um, the lowest end is right over here where I came down. And I would say that's about a 30, 25 to 30 foot drop from the top up there down to the lake front. Now on this opposite side, we're talking um, probably about 45 feet, maybe 50 feet down to the lake. So it's, it's a pretty steep slope getting down in here. And this is considered a seepage lake that all the area water around it seeping into it along with springs. There's springs that are feeding it. I, whenever I hike into a lake like this, I just hope that I'll see some fish when the water clarity is good like this. I'll see some small fish along the edge, along the shoreline. But I gotta keep in mind, the ice has only been off of this lake for a couple of days. I was out here looking at these lakes four days ago and all of them were ice covered yet. They were still covered in ice. So this ice came off this lake no more than two days ago. We had a lot of rain and wind. That's what shed the ice off of them. And boy am I happy about it. But that's it. Thanks for taking the hike in with me to, to um, Cabin Lake. And hey, if you haven't subscribed, you can punch me in the ugly mug. If you, <laughs> if you want, don't want to miss any of my videos or live streams, make sure to ring the bell. And please give me a thumbs up. I would love that. You all have a very, very nice day. I'll see you out here fishing soon.